Hey, it's Random Code here, and today I'm gonna showcase how you can run a simple Python file with Docker Compose. So, a few months ago, I made a simple video showcasing how we can create a Docker file and then run Python in this container. And we can now use Docker Compose, which is kind of like a tool which makes this entire process a bit easier. And definitely, when we're working with multiple images and multiple containers, so when we're creating multiple containers at the same time and connecting them, it's gonna be even more useful. But for now, just to get a basic understanding of Docker Compose, we're just going to do it with one container and with one file. But in the next video, I'm going to showcase how we can have multiple containers and we can connect them. So just a quick showcase from my last video. I built a basic Docker image and container, which is built from Ubuntu image. We then update it, we then install Python, we then set a working directory, and we then copy some Python file into this container. And this Python file is just very simple, which is simply print hello world to the console. But now, instead of just building our image ourselves, running our image ourselves, and inside our Docker file, just having it say that when we're done building this container, run some command, we're then gonna use Docker Compose. And Docker Compose allows us to create services. And in this case, we only have one service, so one Python app. But as mentioned, we could have multiple services, so we could run multiple Docker files at the same time. And we're then building it, so we give the position of the Docker file for this specific service, which in this case is just in the current directory. And because we're then running it as a service, we're then able to, after this Python app is done building and running, so we have a running container, we can then go into it and then call the command python3 hello world.py. So very simply, just run a Python file. So let me just showcase that right now, if we do Docker images. I do not have any images. So what we would do, we do docker, compose, build. So kind of what we would do in docker, we're first building everything. And again, it doesn't make too much sense when we're just doing it with one file, but imagine we were running like three or four or five services, instead of having to build each of them individually, we just build them all at once. So now we build a service, so we can do docker images. We now have this Python, Python app image, instead of running it, I'm then gonna let Docker Compose run it. So it's simply do Docker, Compose, up. And when we're running with Docker Compose, we do a Compose up or Docker Compose down. So up to start the container. As you can see here, we're then starting our Python Python 1 app. So we know, or Docker Compose know what it built previously. And we then start it. And as mentioned, we're then attaching to this app to run our command. And in this case, we get the output, hello world one. And we then do docker compose, down, close again. Or at least to make sure everything is not running. In this case, it doesn't make too much sense because we're not running anything all the time like a database. But let me just showcase, we still have our image. But we do not have any containers which wouldn't have any way because this program would stop running after printing the console. But so what we can do now is also just to do it a bit quicker. So instead of having to build and run every time, we can do Docker, compose, op, dash, dash, build, which would then build it. So if we made any changes, it would get those changes and we build it and we run it. So again, we get hello world. What we can do, we can go inside our hello world. Python file, and we can add some exclamation marks, change the output, and we then do docker compose up dash dash build to make sure we have the new changes, and we then run the program. So now we get hello world with a bunch of more exclamation marks. This is very much the basics of docker compose. So just to sum up, we have a docker file as usual, which sets up some kind of environment. We then instead of running stuff through our Docker file, we then have a Docker Compose file, which contains a more broad understanding of the running program. And again, to mention, it's very important that our Docker file is called Docker file, and our Docker Compose file is called docker-compose.yaml. It's run with YAML, structure of the file. We have our services, we have our Python app, which builds or connects to a Docker file, and we can then run some commands. So that is pretty much the basics of how we can use Docker Compose. 
Again, this is not the best showcase of the Compose, because it's actually a very powerful tool. And I'll showcase it in some other examples and some later videos. But for now, I hope you have a basic understanding of how it works. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. And I wish you all a wonderful day.